Tune in on Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. All right, I'm using the Cosmo Q injection. Got about two cups worth because I'm doing this pork butt along with making some burn ends out of a point of a brisket. So I'm going to put about a quarter cup of the injection uh, seasoning and two cups of water. Uh, go ahead and just inject it pretty much all over the place. Um, if I'm doing a brisket, you know, I'm going to inject with the grain. Uh, I guess typically you want to do that. Uh, but with this pork butt, just going ahead and putting it everywhere. Uh, going to my go-to mustard binder, starting off with some coarse black pepper just to help with the bark. And then I'll be hitting it with the Meat Church uh, Honey Hog Rub. Uh, don't forget the sides, the edges. Um, just make sure you get it all and you go across both sides. Since I'm doing fat side up, I always start with the meat uh, side first and then I'll finish up with the fat side to go ahead and season up and get that all ready to go. Um, moving on, let's see here real quick, just going to that point of the brisket. Um, again, just got this uh, point at the grocery store and I figured I'd just grab it real quick. It was only like eight bucks and uh, make some burn ends out of that. It's cheaper than uh, your poor man burn ends made from um, a chuck roast. So figured might as well get it because you don't come across the points too often at the store. Let's go ahead and hit this up with the uh, Cosmo Q injection. And um, for this one, I'll be going with the Blues Hogs Beefy Rub like I typically go to, and then throwing on some holy cow of meat church. And throw on a little extra coarse black pepper just because that pepper is going to help with the bark of whatever you're applying it to. And then go and hitting it up with uh, the two rubs just because I like mixing them up. Um, you know, putting two together, usually, you know, you kind of, I guess if there was one rub that... You can use for everything we'd have that just that single rub all at the grocery store wherever you buy it from but you know there's a million rubs uh seasoning so i just like mixing them together because you'll typically find a couple that go well and complement each other all right uh so pretty much got the meat done sticking the meter plus probe in and during the uh the smoke about Maybe nine hours in, it started to snow. Totally unexpected here in southern Arizona. I mean, we get snow from time to time, but it was not in the forecast for today. So I pulled it out. Got a nice bark going on this uh, pork butt. Hitting it up with some uh, butter, some brown sugar. Uh, getting that all over the place there. Then I'm going to go ahead and hit it up with some uh, honey. And then some more of the honey hog seasoning. Then I'm going to pour some Dr. Pepper in there just to help with, uh, you know, just a little flavor for it to go in, all the juices to mix together. And then finally you get the uh, end product here after probably about 12 hours total. That bone just slides out nice and easy. And then, you know, it's just effortless getting that, uh, pulling that pork apart. Man, it tasted super good. Has some nice color and um, definitely gonna be enjoying that tonight for some pulled pork sandwiches and that's it smoked pork butt follow us on instagram and twitter and like and subscribe our youtube channel